So we just talked about the jazz, the piston side of things with Bohan Bogdanovich. But we haven't talked about the Kelly Olenek side of things. Look, the Jazz are going to be pretty bad. They may have a bottom five defense this year. Seriously, they're probably going to start Laurie Markkinen and Kelly Olenek at the four and the five spots. Those two can defend the shit. Difference though is that Kelly Olenek can take a charge. He's good at taking charges though. If you watch him when he was a member of the Miami Heat, you know he he's good at taking charges. But it comes to man defense, no, no. That's not his thing. With that being said though, in terms of his fantasy stock watch though, that dude is probably going to play 30 minutes a night. 25 to 30 minutes a night to get all his stats. He's going to get points, rebounds, trees. His percentage is probably going to go up as well. He can shoot a free throw. He's probably a 75% free throw shooter. That's good. That's decent. For a big man, it's this decent. He's probably going to at least average about 49% from the field, about 37% from three. Of course, when it comes to taking three, though, he's probably going to make at least one or two per game. With that being said, though, his stock alongside Lloyd Markkinen and Colin Sexton's are going to go up because they're going to be eating up all the minutes in Utah while they tank for when for Victor when Banyama. So as of right now, Kelly Olenek is probably in your waiver wire. So maybe you want to pick him up though. Just all I'm saying. Why though? Walker Kessler ain't ready. That's for sure. He's a rookie. Micah Potter will probably spend his time in the G League. And Udoka Suzuki, I mean, they might try him as well, but you know he ain't ready for prime time. So, yeah, go get yourself Kelly Olinick. I may be wrong on this one, but as of right now, he's the only dude that can play rotation minutes at center. And that's probably the best option for this Utah right now. When they start losing, while well, Kelly gets all the stats. And that's my short take on his fantasy stock. Thanks for watching, and see ya.